family, friends, followers, welcome or welcome back to Clean Draws. If you just so happen to not see the thumbnail, you can kind of get an idea of who this video is going to be about. To be more specific, my motivation for this video came at the release of the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. And if you didn't know, the biggest news about this movie was that all three theatrical versions of Spider-Man would coexist in this one movie. No one has seen it. They tried to scrub them from one of the trailers, but we found out. And of course, one of the biggest topics of conversation was who was your favorite Spider-Man? I mean, I, I liked them all. I think Tobey Maguire did a good golden era-esque version of Peter Parker. He was kind of subtle and cool and kind of grew into the role of Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield had the body type for Spider-Man that I was more favorable of as opposed to the bulky and muscular Spider-Man. And of course, I mean, Tom Holland, I, how could you not like Tom Holland? But with the multiverse era still booming, the spider on the art challenge is still thriving. I even did a video about it with my wife. You should probably go check it out. If you don't know by now, I'm a pretty big art fan, but I also love pro wrestling, video games, and hip hop. So I thought, what would my favorite pro wrestler look like if he were Spider-Man? Or what would my favorite video game character look like if he took on the moniker of the friendly neighborhood superhero? How would I draw my favorite hip hop artist if he were Spider-Man? That's what we're going to find out today. Let's go. Okay, so for my first drawing, I'm going to do my favorite pro wrestler, which is uh, Johnny Gargano, AKA the whole shebang, AKA Johnny Wrestling, AKA Johnny Champion, uh, a moniker that he earned by becoming the first NXT Triple Crown Champion, winning the NXT Heavyweight Championship, Tag Team Championship alongside his best friend and former Heavyweight Champion, Tommaso Ciampa, and the North American Championship. Ironically enough, Johnny Gargano is also a pretty big Marvel fan and has come to the ring with uh, several types of Marvel-themed wrestling gear, including Carnage and, of course, Spider-Man. So I wanted to stay within the wheelhouse of his ring gear and just have it kind of the wrestler by day and vigilante by night situation. If you are familiar with Johnny Gargano, he has a signature logo where it's a facial expression that is asymmetrical. So I wanted to incorporate that into his mask, having one eye bigger than the other. And I kind of replicated that, of course, in his knee pads as well. I decided to make it this orange and brown colorway, uh, mainly because he is from Cleveland, Ohio, and is a pretty strong Cleveland Browns fan. I've been a pretty big fan of his for quite some time, like legit. I think I own, yeah, I own more of his merch than any other wrestler since becoming a wrestling fan, and rightfully so. Uh, it was just recent news that he decided to um, take time off from wrestling by leaving WWE or NXT specifically and I mean it kind of broke my heart but I understood he's a new dad and you know it's good to take a break from time to time. So yeah pretty simple you know didn't want to go too uh, extravagant with it because again one is to stay within the wrestling theme but still give it its spidey look. So I hope you like it. Okay, for my next drawing, I'm gonna do a rendition of my favorite video game character, but I decided to make a slight change in decision since making a thumbnail. I'll explain. So my all-time favorite genre of gaming is first-person shooter or FPS. When I was younger, my uncle introduced me to this game called Hederic, and then it was Wolfenstein, and then Doom, but surprisingly enough, it wasn't until I played Perfect Dark for Nintendo 64 that I really knew that, yeah, that was my lane. From that point on, it was Torok, the Dinosaur Hunter, Half-Life, 13, the cell shaded first person shooter, I can listen forever. But the most current and biggest obsession that I've had is the Borderlands franchise. I own all the games, I have all the DLCs, I can't wait for Wonderlands to drop. Matter of fact, I think I pre-ordered it, I can't remember. So I figured I would draw Flack, the Beastmaster. I chose him because he was the character of my favorite class of the game, and it was the most current installment. But the problem that I ran across was as I started to brainstorm the design that I have, I didn't really have much wiggle room design-wise without teetering too far from the signature look of Flack. 
if you've seen him before, he's just this like robot that's dressed like the pigeon lady from Home and On 2. And beyond, I guess, adding color or, or textures to the many layers that he wore and changing out his helmet, that was pretty much it, which is kind of what you do in the game anyway. So I figured, why didn't I just pick the character that won me over for the franchise? So that, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw Mordecai, the hunter class from the very first Borderlands game as Spider-Man. Okay, so full transparency, I do not remember too much about Mordecai since playing Borderlands 1 because it's been so long ago. I do remember that he was from Artemis, uh, one of the fictional areas within the game. I believe he was of Latin descent, and I only say that because he was portrayed by old boy from Narcos. I think his name was Julio Cedillo. I probably ruined his name, but yeah. So like I said before, Mordecai was the first of his class, the hunter class, and I always gravitated towards hunters or sniper rifles in games previously to this one. And I just thought that, you know, it was perfect. And Mordecai was a cool dude. He was laid back, really nonchalant type of guy. And if there's one thing that he loved, it was his companion, Bloodwing, which was like this prehistoric bird-like creature, which I thought about incorporating in my design, but it got too horrific when I thought about maybe merging it with like a spider and it just looked too scary. So I mixed the whole thing. I knew that I had a lot of options to go with his helmet because you know at the end he does wear goggles but because but i did remember that he had like this leather mask that he wore that covered the majority of his face and i figured that was a better opportunity for me to incorporate the spider look and you'll see that when i put the webbing on the mask and incorporate the signature eyeglasses For the scarving around his body, I tried to make it look web-esque just so that I can stay in character for the Spider-Man look without getting too far from being Mordecai. Ultimately, this was just how Mordecai would look in his universe as Spider-Man, which was my goal all along. So I hope you all enjoy. All right, so of course, as you can see, it's later because I've changed my shirt for one, but it kind of worked out because I was able to represent the next person that I am drawing, which is my favorite, one of my favorite hip hop artists, which is the late great MF Doom, AKA Metal Fingers, AKA King Ghidorah, AKA Victor Vaughn. Found out about this rapper actually on Cartoon Network when they used to play his instrumentals in some of his verses on their Adult Swim commercials. But it wasn't until I tapped into his collaborative album with DJ Danger Mouse, it was called uh, The Mouse and the Mask, that I was bought in. After that, I went back to um, Food, of course, my all-time favorite album of his, Mad Villainy, and just he has a myriad of albums that he's done both collaboratively and solo. And uh, unfortunately, we lost him later in 2020. Uh, the hip hop game really suffered a blow from that one. So I'm gonna draw my guy, MF Doom as Spider-Man. This was the most difficult of the three because I had to constantly remind myself that this was not to be an MF Doom version of Spider-Man. But hey, what would MF Doom look like if he took on the moniker of Spider-Man, which is what I said in the beginning. So you'll see that I struggled with finding a pose that would make sense for MF Doom to do while still being a superhero. Um, but I was able to get one nailed down. Also, again, he would dress more practical to his personality, which was the New York state of mind. I gave him the hoodie. Um, of course, not without the signature MF Doom mask, jeans, and Timberland boots. This is a guy from um, Long Beach, New York. Though he was born in London, he is New York to the core, and I wanted to incorporate that in his look without, again, but not without, you know, neglecting the fact that he is, in fact, a superhero. I have his course his signature metal fingers or his metal gloves and I tried my best to incorporate the web shooters in them again keeping those super simple uh, from what I know with Doom he was not from what I remember of Doom he stayed true to the golden era comic books where the old vintage look of MF Doom I mean the old vintage look of Dr. Doom was more his uh, 
signature than the current or modern Dr. Doom. I wrestled with if I wanted to give him a web-based bomber jacket, but I ended up going with a New York colored or New York Knicks colored basketball jersey with the Spider-Man logo in the middle. Just as you can see that he was from New York in the event that he would venture outside of the state. So there you have it. This is my version of MF Doom as Spider-Man. Hope you like it because I did. Family, all three, done. I really hope you liked it. I enjoyed it. But if you did, please like this video. If you didn't like it, tell me why. I'm always here for some constructive criticism. Uh, tell me what you would have done differently with your version of Spider-Man. I know MF Doom could have been done differently. I'd had some ideas brewing as I was drawing it or anybody that you would like to see as Spider-Man. If it's cool enough, I would draw it, whether it be on Instagram or here on YouTube. And um, if you want to support me, it's completely free and it does a ton for me. If you would subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, you'll be the first to be notified when my next video drops, which it's going to be pretty big lengthwise and content wise. It'll be worth it. So again, thank you so much for sticking with your boy. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it and see you again in the future. Peace.